Hi, I'm Alex Sampson with Health Benefits Associates. In this short video, I was going to go over the United Healthcare contract with Renown. Um, this is an update as of July 19th, 2021, and I wanted to provide you with the latest regarding United Healthcare and how they're going to be working moving forward with Renown Hospitals and Medical Group. So as of today, UHC repaired their contract with the Renown Hospital and Medical Group. So it's repaired as of um, as if there was no break in the contract. So um, as of May 1st, the hospital was not working with United Healthcare. Now they are. As of June 1st, the medical group was broken, um, broke their contract with United Healthcare, and now they've repaired that as well. So if you have United Healthcare and you have any bills that were denied between now and then, um, they mean, may need to be resubmitted through either the doctor or by sending them directly to United Healthcare and having those paid for. Um, so it is as if there was never a break in the contract. So that, that is the, definitely the important thing for United Healthcare. This applies to small group plans. So if you have an individual plan through Health Plan of Nevada or Sierra Health and Life, I'm afraid the contract has still ended uh, for those two plans as of the dates I mentioned before. Also, this does not apply to Medicare supplement plans. So if you had a or have a United Healthcare AARP Medicare supplement plan, you do not have the same doctor's list as small groups. So the doctor's list is any doctor that takes Medicare is a doctor that accepts your supplement. So that's definitely going to be something completely separate than what's being negotiated here with this contract. Um, Despite this, a lot of small businesses have still been looking at the Aetna Funding Advantage Plan. Um, I'm going to include a link in this video to our other video explaining the Aetna Funding Advantage Plan. That can be a great way to go for a lot of small employers, and this hiccup with the United Healthcare contract in Renown has really woken up a lot of employers to the Aetna Funding Advantage Plan, and so um, I'm going to include a link to that in this video as well. Um, we love providing these updates and we definitely want to continue this for you. So if you get a minute, please like this video if it was helpful. In the comment section below, if you have any questions, maybe other people have those same questions as well. Uh, we'd love to hear what your questions are. We'll be uh, answering those questions in the comment section. Uh, please leave a comment. And if this video was helpful for you and you'd like to see other videos on health insurance related topics, uh, please subscribe to our channel. There's a lot of misinformation out there and especially regarding this United Healthcare contract, not enough employers were notified at all. United Healthcare didn't really notify employers that much. They tried to keep it hush hush. Um, other brokers didn't notify their uh, members. We try to do our best to make sure that these notifications go out in as many formats as possible, including this video, the emails we send out from all of us. And so um, if this was helpful for you, please subscribe to the channel because we wanna keep you up to date regarding any kind of changes regarding contracts or insurance companies that are available or the millions of other things that are out there. So we hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Alex with Health Benefits Associates.